All right, good morning, everyone. All right, so this is, you're here if you're trying to get the Flowdesk. The Flowdesk is wonderful, but if you're trying to get this little modal pop-up window to not show up on certain pages. So to give you an example, this is my sales page for a, um, for a product that I have for super simple social media, um, like getting a content calendar basically together. And honestly, like I needed it not to show up when I would scroll down the page. Now it's not showing up here because I'm logged into WordPress. I'm in the back end, so it's not showing up. Um, but when I would go to like say an incognito window and then I would scroll down and I've already fixed this, so it's not gonna show up here, but I would scroll down a little bit and boom, it would pop up. And then instead of people looking at the sales page, now they're looking at a modal window and I didn't want that. So to give you an example, if I were to look at a blog post, which I do want it to show on. I want it to show up on every page except my sales pages. But if I would scroll down, I would get the pop-up. And that's fine on a blog page, but again, not okay on a sales page. So how do I not have it show up everywhere when it's in the code to show up everywhere? So what I ended up doing was it is a little bit of, of code, right? But it is the smallest amount of code you could possibly imagine. So don't get derailed by the fact that there's code. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to go over to my sales page. I'm going to go edit it because, you know, I got to get into WordPress somehow. And this, I'm doing this for WordPress. This will work on anything. It's just what it looks like for you might be a little different. So for me, I have to, I create like, I don't know what you call these things, containers. And then inside the containers, I got to add like an element and then I go add code block and that pops a code block element in here. For you, you probably have some kind of code thing like enter your, you know, CSS here or enter your code here, um, that kind of thing. That's what you're looking for. So don't get deterred just because mine looks different. you are just got to find the one that says code block or, um, or advanced and then you enter a CSS information. Like that's, that's what you're looking for. It's a special place for you to put code that doesn't fit nicely into the theme. So... So for me, what it's going to look like is I'm going to click on my edit, and this is the code you're looking for. This little like three-liner bit of code is what's going to make the modal window not show up when you're on a page. So what you want to do, though, is make sure that this code is above your content. So however you work it in your theme, just try to put it as close to the top as you can, right? Um, you don't want to put it in like, I'm just going to say like an HTML term here. You don't want to put it in the head of your document because that's going to compete with the actual Flowdesk code that's already in the head of your document. You want it to be like above your content, but that's it, right? So hopefully that didn't confuse you too much, but just get it to the close to the top of the page as you can and it should work because basically your browser is going to load the whole page and as long as it loads this content somewhere, <laughs> it will work. Um, it's just, it's better practice if it's as close to the top as you can. Anyway, all that to say. All right, so what you wanna do is you're gonna write this code and I will put this as a PDF link in the, um, the YouTube show notes here um, and, and on the blog post I'm gonna write after this for it. It's, it's all gonna be on the page that you're viewing this on. Um, so you can just copy and paste it. But what we're doing here, this is all you're doing. You're replacing this identification code. And this is the code that Flowdesk assigns to you. It's like a unique um, user ID. And it just tells it, hey, you know, Flowdesk, use this user ID for this particular form needs to show up on this page. That's what we're doing. Except this code is saying, hey, for this particular form, don't show it on this page. So that's what the display none is. It's saying, hey, don't display this. It's still, the browser's still gonna load it, but it won't show up on the page. So it's like it doesn't exist, but it, it is there. All right, so that's the long and short. All we're doing is we're copying this code, we're gonna paste it where we need to put it, and then we're gonna replace this code. So where do we get this code? Over in your Flowdesk, right? This is the, um, how I got to this is I went to my forms, and then I went over to, oh, I'm sorry, I went to Flowdesk, and then I went to my forms, and then I went to the one I wanted to work with, I hit edit, and then you gotta do the dance with the navigation. It won't just let you go over to, maybe it will. Can I go to embed? There we go. All right, now trying to just copy this line right here is not possible with the way that they have set this up. So go ahead and copy it, open up a notepad or ha what have you, paste it in, and then there's the code. So you can double click it, we're gonna cut it, and then we're gonna go over to our page, and then we 
highlight it again, just double clicking it will highlight the whole thing. And then we paste it in, I'm doing control V, and then we save it and then save it again. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's, it is super simple. And I will put that link to the, that code, that snip code snippet in the, the show notes below. And hopefully this helps you out. If it does, please do uh, share the video, like the video, put a thanks Wendy for the information, <laughs> like just thanks Wendy in the comments. All those things are like doing like a little virtual tip jar. Basically what it does is it promotes the video for me on YouTube. So I really appreciate the exposure and uh, yeah. Guys, have a great day. I hope this helps you out because this was driving me nuts for the longest time. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.